working equipment hazard and risk control. Suitability of work equipment. Initial integrity and properly designed. Fit for purpose for which it is being used. Meets safety requirements. Used for purpose manufacturer indeed. Factors to be considered when installing new machines. 1. Hazards. Heat or cold problems. Chemicals. Biological. 2. Suitability guarded. 3. The location. 4. Cable of being isolated, lock off. 5. Safe access and egress. 6. Personnel trained and competent. 7. Any other specified risks. Safe operation of work equipment. Appropriate protection. People not come into contact. Clear layout of controls. Means of isolation. Stable. Adequate lighting. Maintenance. Appropriate markings. Warning devices. Maintenance hazards. Entry into vessels, confined spaces, machines. Hot work which may cause for or explosion. Construction work such as work on roofs in excavations. Cutting into pipework carrying hazardous substances. Mechanical or electrical work requiring isolation of power or fuel supplies. Fumes, gas, liquids or steam. Machinery hazards. Unintentional starting of machinery. Release of stored energy. Movement to gravity. Residual high or low pressure. Restricted access, egress. Residues for example toxic, flammables, corrosives. Mechanical hazards. Heat or cold. Biological hazards. Confined spaces. Working at heights. Precautions when undertaking machinery maintenance. Isolate electrical power. Permit to work. Isolate pipelines. Release loads. Allow hot machinery to cool provide adequate lighting. Means of access. Providing suitable PPE. Provide barriers. Ventilate work area. Adequate supervision define handheld tools. Hand tools colon tools which are entirely powered manually. That is axes, wrenches etc. Portable power tool colon tools which have an external power sources such as electricity, compressed liquid, air etc. That is, pneumatic drill, electric screwdriver. Hazards of handheld tools. Hitting hammer on one's thumb. Using a chisel as screwdriver. Flying particles. Sharp edges. Hazards of portable power tools. Mechanical hazards. Entanglement. Cutting. Abrasions. Ejected material. Non mechanical hazards. Dust. Electricity. Ergonomics. Manual handling. Noise vibration. Precautions portable power tools. Do not use power tools you are not trained on. Do not lift or carry power tools by their power cord. Keep power cords at the paths of the power tool. Do not leave tools unattended. Do not stand in water or wet surfaces when running a power tool. Hold all power tools by the plastic hand grips or other conductive areas. Do not plug multiple electrical cords into a single outlet. Do not use power tools or extension cords with a missing prong. Ground all tools unless double insulated. Mechanical hazards. Acronym entice. N equals entanglement. T equals traps, shearing, crushing, drawing in. I equals impact. C equals contact, cutting, 
friction and abrasion, puncture E equals ejection, flying particles, entanglement, where hair, clothes, jewelry etc. are caught in parts of a revolving machine, traps, where parts of the body, as hands or finger, are caught or trapped in parts of moving machines, impact, where the body is impacted by moving parts or processed items. Contact. Burns. Lacerations. Abrasions. Puncture. Cuts. Ejection. Where the parts of the machine or materials being used fly out and hit the body. Common hazards. Electrical. Ergonomic. Noise. Stability. Bench top grinder hazards. Contact with rotating wheel. Drawing into trap. Ejection of parts of wheel. Fire and sparks. Vibration, noise. Pedestal drill hazards. Entanglement, hair, clothing. Contact, stabbing, puncture. Impact, unsecured workpiece. Cutting from sword. Ejection, drill bit. Material. Associated hazards with retail machine. Waste compactor hazards. Impact. Crushing. Noxious substances and fumes. Biological infection. Conveyor. Drawing in traps. Non-ionizing radiation. Crushing. Spillages and breakages of material. Construction machinery associated hazards. Circular saw hazards. Drawing and a blade. Contact. Ejection of materials. Vibration. Saw dust. Cement mixer hazards. Entanglement. Chemicals. Noise. Manual handing. Hierarchy of control for machinery guards. Fixed in closing guards. Other guards or protection devices. Protective appliances such as jigs, holders, push sticks. Provision of information, instruction training and supervision. Define safety guarding. Remember Fiat, F equals fixed I equals interlock A equals automatic. T equals drip, safety devices. Define fixed guard. It is a physical barrier that prevent access to danger area. It's not connected machine motion controls. Without any moving parts. Fixed on any part that it requires a special tool to remove it. Fixed guard advantages. Creates a physical barrier. Require a tool to remove it. No moving parts. Little maintenance. Easy to inspect. Disadvantages. No protection if removed. Requires a tool to remove. If solid hampers visual inspection. If solid may cause heat problems. Define interlock guard. It of movable parts that are interconnected with the control system. Usually electrical mechanically or pneumatic interconnections. Machinery will not operate unless guard is closed. Less likely to slow production. Generally move expensive and require more checking and maintenance. Advantages of interlock guards. Convenient for access. Give flexibility of design. A time delay can be built in. Disadvantages more complex difficult to inspect difficult to maintain subject to wear subject to operator abuse if a gate operator can step inside please give comment and suggestions thank you subscribe our youtube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.